Kate Hudson's son Ryder got quite the greeting on his 17th birthday. The almost famous star took to Instagram to share a wholesome video where she and her two other kids, Bingham and Ronnie Rose, surprised Ryder by waking him up and singing happy birthday. Open the door. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ryder. Happy birthday. The How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days star gushed about her son in the caption, calling him warm-hearted and hilarious. Happy birthday, Mr. Ryder Robinson, 17 today. A family morning celebration for our big man. My loving, warm-hearted, hilarious, considerate, unruffled, loyal, resilient son. You got this. You're going to have one wonderful adulthood if you stay this course, because you're solid gold. Here we are in the 18th year of your life, and I got one more year to help you brush those wings so they're ready to take off. I'm gonna soak in every moment. Happy birthday, she wrote. Kate always loves to gush about her children. Axis Hollywood chatted with a star in 2018, and she talked about her daughter Ronnie Rose's adorable Kurt Russell onesie, as well as the message she'd like to share with the future generation of women. I mean, she knows, yeah, I mean, she knows it's Gogi. Yeah, but, but no, she is, I mean, I, I look forward to the day she knows who Snake Liskin is, because yeah. he's a pretty cool character. But uh, I, I love that onesie. That was a, that was actually Bing's. Oh, my so, God. It's a hand me down. <laughs> well, maybe she can get a private Benjamin onesie next, some Goldie merch. By the way, good idea. You know, anyone, I'm available, you know, maybe anyone can make one for you. Yeah. Awesome. And what's the one message you want to send to the next generation as you move forward? For what, for girls? Yes. I'm going to talk about it tonight, but I think I had a really interesting moment in, in my son's school. At, at, they were talking about leadership skills for the kids. And I realized that you know, leadership doesn't have like one definition, that there's all different kinds of leaders. And you don't have to be up front and, you know, screaming for everybody to be heard to be a leader. Like, you know, and I think kids feel, I think kids feel a lot of pressure to have to be something. And they, I, I just wish that kids knew that they can create their own kind of leadership. Yeah, yeah, you know, we have a, there's just, Kids feeling a lot right now, you know, and there's a lot of amazing kids who are doing amazing work that I think some peop people feel like they have to sort of reach that in order to be considered a leader. And I just sort of, I think it's important that we take the pressure off of our kids. So we'll talk about that.